I didn't get embroiled embroiled in a major controversy. Yeah. yeah. So thank uh, you. Anything to say? I was very proud of you. Thank you. Keep it up. Yeah. Thank you. Thank and, you. Um, thank you. Although, well, that's half true, and <clears throat> that you're being sued. Though. Yeah. <laughs> By Ryan Kavanaugh. Yeah. What's AKA What's the deal, Shadow. Ryan? So Ryan Kavanaugh. Oh well. Can you get a life? I would wish you would get. I wish you would just run his business instead of trying to yeah. sue us. Like he must be desperate for cash. Yeah, I mean, I can give him a little tour, <clears throat> a little rundown on how to run a business. Do it. That could be because... good in the settlement. You hear that, Ryan Kavanaugh? You can get a. Uh, you can get business advice from a real CEO. Yeah, because actually... personally, I wouldn't have time to mess around with some stupid lawsuit. But I guess you have a lot of time. Yeah, you're bringing that over here. Um... Yeah, thank you, baby. Yeah, I mean, and, and also, unlike Brian Kavanaugh, you attempt to make your money through actually selling products and not suing people. No, legitimate product, and we yeah. pay our taxes. Pay our uh, taxes. You know. Well, I don't know if he pays his taxes or not. I mean, I'm just saying we're doing everything as legitimate as possible. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, and, and I don't know if you got this memo, but that, so apparently... Oh, oh, we pay our employees. <laughs> um, yeah. If you you maybe heard about Ryan, his bankruptcy, he, yeah, he sometimes he's done, doesn't always pay people. Yeah, oh, there's a lot. There's like a thousand debtors from the bankruptcy. But I don't know if you heard that Ryan Kavanaugh, this man here, mm -hmm. was accused by his ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme. So got that's it. interesting. Yeah, that's Ugh, the guy so awkward. Him. But anyway, let me get actually into this. I believe that was reported in Variety, just for clarification. Variety, sake. yeah, yeah, Variety magazine. Yeah. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to say. All right. How how was that to feel like all of a sudden the lawyers are like, uh, don't panic, but uh, so Triller is suing you and Teddy Fresh. No, it was like, what? How? Why? What do they want? I literally have nothing to do with them. Yeah, and you can, here, I'm going to pull up. I the... was trying to tell my family about it, and they're like, but why? And I was like, I, I have no idea. It makes no sense. Well, okay, it, it, the only way it actually makes sense is when you consider that they're just maliciously harassing us. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, does he not have a life? I mean, I wouldn't have time for petty stuff like that. Well, he's trying to intimidate us to shutting up <laughs> or paying up. But again, Ryan Kavanaugh really, I don't know who he thinks he's fucking with. Like, that's just not my, I will never do that. I will never <laughs> neither, do that. In so fact, bring it on. <laughs> in fact, the opposite is true. I'm just going to turn everything into content. <laughs> Wait till you see this complaint, okay? So they issued a new, they filed an additional lawsuit to the copyright one. Yeah. And there's, it's fantastic. The fact that they even uh, filed this is amazing. So here we go. And this is it from Triller LLC. So this isn't even like weird fight. Like this is Ryan's business. Okay. Now look at this shit. <laughs> they, they, they include these amazing screenshots. <laughs> Look at this. This is actually in their complaint. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so dumb. Wait till you wait till you analyze. So he goes, he's his whole thing is like, this is war. H Street Podcast, we're going to war. Foot soldiers assemble. Mm -hmm. Um, what's the date on this? Oh. January? January twenty ninth. When was the fucking fight? <laughs> when was it? <laughs> oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't even catch time. that. When was the fight? Tell me that. Oh, thank you. We got mud and halva. Nice. When was the fight? Somebody tell me the date of the fight. Of the broadcast. What? Do you, what? It, was it the Logan? No, it was Jake Paul versus... Yeah, the uh, Jake Paul fight was a disaster. Versus, I think it was uh, April 17th. April 17th. And oh. now, I'm not a mathematician. <laughs> wow. But I'm pretty sure oh my God. that this fucking screenshot... Oh, my God. Got your hat. Got your hat. I'm pretty fucking sure that January 29th is before April. April. <laughs> Again, not a mathematician. No, we'll have to let the lawyers prove that, you know. Yeah, they're got the lawyers. They'll need to subpoena the calendar. <laughs> exactly. The whole fucking thing about lawsuits is like they're going to have to now prove like, well, your honor, if you start chronologically <laughs> from the beginning of the year and count the days, you will find <laughs> it's like you have to do proof for everything. <laughs> So, again, Ryan, nice fucking try, douche. Maybe you should try paying uh, the people you bankrupted instead of actually trying to go after us. Trying to think, but nothing happens. Actually, you know what they should do is try to improve Triller. Because I've been hearing they're getting a lot of one stars. I hear it's flipped. 
It's flipped. It's yeah. Flipped, and that's from what, someone who they pay. Yo, <laughs> the trailer, the flip, my thing is straight flipped. flipped. <laughs> uh, um, it's so awkward. <laughs> here, I have a I, I have a bunch of the main excerpts, but I just want to show you guys the memes. This is another meme they included. What? <laughs> they're taking <laughs> memes. It's a meme. They're taking memes from the subreddit oh and then God, acting this like. Oh my like, God! This is Matt Haas 2.0. It totally like, the is. First no, it's Matt Haas with money. Had, in the deposition, Ethan had to define what a meme is. 100%. This is repeating. <laughs> it's Matt Haas with money. It's totally Matt Haas 2.0. <laughs> oh my God. So they go. By the way, I've never even seen this meme. I don't know I've where they pitched it I've never seen this. Who cares? Yeah. I think it was on the sub. Yeah, it definitely okay. was on the sub. There was, sub. A, there was a lot of them. At <laughs> but the I don't think this was like a major... I mean, they put honest in quotes because it's a direct quote that you wanted them to give an honest review. I don't see how this is evidence of anything. Yeah, it's like you, this, you can't make a legal claim where you be like, this isn't what he said, but this is what he meant. Right. That doesn't fucking work that way, right. dude. I want you to give it tri to give Triller an honest review. Exactly, that's what I said. Honest. Thanks for quoting it. Here's what they say. But can you imagine that they're actually giving shoutouts to our subreddit users? I guess it's cool. But I they don't know. they actually think we're responsible for what's posted on on Reddit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's insanity. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's hard to believe. Well, I'm having a hard, uh, less and less hard time believing the things that happened from this guy. <laughs> well, the, the thing that really pissed us off is that before they filed this lawsuit, we were entered into what me and our attorneys thought was good faith negotiations to end the lawsuit. Yeah. We were both like, let's just, let's end this, let's figure it out. And we were in a good faith conversation. This pathetic fuck wanted to come on our show. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you wanted you to reveal that. that. Well, it's too late. <laughs> Matt Haas wanted to do the same thing. Matt Haas, I'm just saying Matt Haas wanted to do the same thing. <laughs> you should let him step in the lines then. I'm still Crowder <laughs> says. Yeah, I'm still in shock that that really he, happened. He, he, Ryan Kavanaugh wanted to come on the show and talk to me. Doesn't that just show that I'm he like, has so? ulterior motives? I mean, he's not he talking just, you. Just wants to use this platform for publicity. Yeah, he wants to promote Trilla. We got nothing to talk to you, bro. But anyway, I said like, no, I'm not, I don't want to do that. You've already proven you have no life, so what would we talk to you about? Just go back. Well, I would ask him about the Ponzi scheme. Yeah. Oh, that would actually be nice. Right. I would ask him about the... Um, <laughs> there's some really interesting court filings we found about the bankruptcy, where he bankrupted... Uh, Couple the, times, right? What, what I I would ask him about the nanny called... that he didn't pay her like a hundred thirty thousand dollars. He stiffed or some, a nanny. Some there was a whole story about that. Like that. He got sued for I'd love to hear like about hundred grand. Can you pull that up since we're talking about it? There's some really interesting court filings we found in a video we're yeah, planning. It would be a great interview, actually. But we found some really interesting court filings. One of which is really fucking interesting. I mean, we dug deep, Ryan. Let me just say this, Cav Cav. You know what that means, Ryan? Cav Cav? <laughs> <laughs> you should be scared of the knowledge I have. Could ruin a man. Cav Cav. Coming for you, Cav Cav. Let me just say this about Cav Cav. In Minecraft. We're coming for you in Minecraft. <laughs> With peace and love. Gonna add that to the last one. <laughs> That's uh, allegedly. He said We're allegedly coming for you in Minecraft. Minecraft. Dot, 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 in Minecraft. <laughs> Your Honor, this clearly is a threat. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, which document am I looking for? Oh, the nanny suing him? Got it, got it. Yeah. So but this is the kind of guy who stiffs his fucking nanny. Do you guys know what saints nannies are? Oh, yeah. I mean, they have, like, the most important job... Night nurse. ...in a person's life. I mean, it's to so me, good. my nanny is the most important person to me. Obviously. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> sorry. The but nanny is your you world? Know, like, out of, like, anyone that... You pay for yeah. She's your podcast nannies. producer is sitting right here. Sorry, everyone, but you oh, know she's man. at Theodore all day. No, you're it's, right. The nanny is everything. It's just like the the responsibilities is crazy. I think it means he doesn't love his kid. Are he stiffing his nanny? <laughs> By the transfer of property, know. right? <laughs> the math checks out. The math checks out. And Dan, I do believe is a uh, as the authority on this one. Oh, I don't know. That thumbnail is pretty intense, Cam. <laughs> well, let's talk about it after the show. <laughs> hey, I was over here. I was over there helping him. Uh, what was the explanation on this again? 
It's made of sesame. Okay. It's halva. It's, it's a, so it's a Mediterranean. It's a, good. Have you had it? No. Oh, that's Isn't so that cool. So good. No, so but, good. like, tell me if that tastes healthy to you, Dan. I mean, is it supposed to be? No, Ela thinks it's healthy. <laughs> well, it's like it's pretty sweet. It's like a healthy. It's pure fat snack. and sugar. It's sesame fat. It's like healthy fat, though. That's it's true. Really I mean, it good. could be. Just because it's full of fat doesn't mean it's unhealthy. That said, it doesn't taste healthy. Here, uh, well. Go ahead, Ela. Read your findings. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, read it. <laughs> Halva increases the body's protection against chronic diseases such as cancer, heart, and premature aging. Well, it's going to de-age me. Oh, sick. Load up. It Load just, up on the halva. It does everything. Anyway, it's like a, the most classic Israeli, I think in Middle Eastern in general. I really like it. Halva. Because it's like hummus. It's like you use the tahina and everything. The hummus, the candies. Right. Yeah, it's the same shit. But anyway, let's focus. <laughs> no, he was in the, work to do. Doing, okay, in the okay, trenches so. doing halva <laughs> research. <laughs> It's you can get it from uh, And I think you can buy it here too by the way if people want to Yeah, try you can it. buy it. It's you can buy it. And this coffee is great too. Oh, I didn't try the coffee. Do you guys like the smell of it? It's like Yeah. Pretty cool. This Oh, it's like spicy. This I've had before yeah. and this this stuff's bomb. It's really mm. good. It's spiced or something. Yeah, it's very it's full nice. Of hell. Hell? It's full of hell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That, that was that was speaking my of Ryan Kavanaugh. Very soon you go to hell. <laughs> I, sent, I sent it. Speaking of Ryan Kavanaugh and hell, <laughs> imagine being this guy, Hollywood executive, well, ex-executive. He bankrupted his business, sued by babysitter and wage spat. It's not just a babysitter. She was a night nurse. That's when you have a newborn baby and they take care of the baby at night. It's such an important job. They take care of your newborn baby. Here, Hollywood producer, not anymore, and financier, not anymore. He's being sued by a former babysitter for his newborn child who alleges she is owed more than 175000 Now, you may ask yourself, that's a lot of money, but here's why. He abruptly fired her in 2020, only two months into her 13-month contract. Now, the deal with these night nurses is that they have to set aside time for one mm -hmm. specific client because it's hard to find a family, and they're, they're, they're like transient. They go because when the baby gets born, bigger you move on to a new family so it's yeah. hard to find employment it's, it's not that it's hard to find they're actually usually really um they have a there's a lot of need for them but they'll sometimes stay with a family like between six months to like here they wanted her for 13 months so they have to secure their job every time afterwards so they get booked up you know exactly and so then they decline work when they have a contract exactly so it really screws them yeah. to fire them but you would think so like in the contract it's like if you fire me you owe me a certain amount of money because obviously she settled aside and turned down work to come work for you so when i was like oh, 175,000, how does that work well let me explain to you how that works this fucking guy he he in the contract she was going to work 12 hours a day at $40 an hour that's how so he fucked her good yeah <laughs> yeah i mean imagine not paying like a working class person uh as when you're like apparently a billionaire i mean hello this guy cares about people and wait till you hear about the other shit, Cav Cav. God, I want to say, I don't know if we're ready to talk about it yet. But there's like such good stuff. I mean, this is like super villain shit. And this was written down by a judge. So when I say it, I say it with full authority. I know he likes beer too, or likes alcohol, like his, uh, like the other Kavanaugh. We'll get into that too. We drank beer. You like beer, Senator? <laughs> and having some beers with friends. <laughs> Turns out he has the Kavanaugh's have a lot in common. You like beer, Senator? <laughs> you like beer, Senator? <laughs> you like beer, Mr. Kavanaugh? We drank beer. We drank beer. So anyway. So then the other thing. So this is how they're suing Teddy Fresh, Ela. Yeah, they go, please they, explain. Yeah. Me. Okay. So this is how they justify this <laughs> in some absolute. Uh, Alternate universe, legal alternate universe. Upon information and belief, uh, yada, 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 there exists a unity of interest between defendants. 
uh, individually or separate between and has, well, I don't know what the fuck all that means. Ted Entertainment and Teddy Fresh are the alter egos of Mr. and Mrs. Klein. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ted Entertainment and Teddy Fresh are, and at all relevant times, oh, they're saying they're shell companies, instrumentalities, and conduits through which Mr. and Mrs. Klein carry on business in the name of of uh, Teddy, Ted Entertainment and Teddy Fresh while exercising complete control and dominance over them. Their business and assets to such an extent that our individuality or separateness between them on one hand, Mr. and Mrs. Klein on the other hand, do not exist. Teddy Fresh and Ted Entertainment were conceived, intended, and used by Mr. and Mrs. Klein as a device to avoid liability and for the purpose of substituting an undercapitalized entity, namely Teddy Fresh and Ted Entertainment in the place of Mr. and Mrs. Klein. Ted Entertainment and Teddy Fresh are at all times here and mentioned were so at inadequately capitalized, which by the way, I guess they have like a clairvoyant or something, because I'm not sure where they're getting this information like from. Like a psychic? Oh. <laughs> I think they consulted a crystal ball on this. <laughs> So inadequately, inadequately capitalized that comparing the business done by Mr. and Mrs. Klein and the risk of loss, their capitalization was illusionary and trifling. In addition, many assets of Teddy Fresh were transferred without adequate consideration to Mr. and Mrs. Klein. Mr. and Mrs. Klein diverted assets from Teddy Fresh to themselves to suit their own convenience in carrying out business matters, which were and should have been the domain of Teddy Fresh. Teddy Fresh are, and at all times here and mentioned, controlled, dominated, and operated by them as alter egos, in that the activities and businesses of Teddy Fresh were carried out without annual meetings and without keeping records or minutes of any proceedings or maintaining written uh, uh, resolutions. Sorry, what? Yeah, exactly. So they're saying, adhering to the fiction of the this, this separate entities... Is Ryan projecting? I mean, is that how he does business? He must be totally projecting. This is definitely written, or it's just an a copy. alter ego. I mean, that's kind of like an artistic way to look at it. But well, it's a le it's a legal claim, but like you have to have intimate knowledge of the company's finances to make such a claim. And of course, he doesn't know anything. It's not that hard to find anything about Teddy Fresh. It's all. I mean, it's as legit as you can get. I and mean, what did what did they want? This is so dumb. The commingling of assets and unlawful business conducts, another accusing us of breaking the law, as alleged here fully within by defense, was intended, among other things, to allow Mr. and Mrs. Klein to avoid liability to the plaintiffs and others. So basically they're saying these companies are fake and we're using them to hide assets from Ryan Kavanaugh. <laughs> Teddy Fresh exists for the purpose of, of hiding assets from Ryan Kavanaugh. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, an alter ego would be, for example, let's say Ryan Kavanaugh's company went bankrupt. Okay? What was the company of his that went bankrupt? It was Relativity Media. So let's say, well, this isn't hypothetical. This happened. Let's say he bankrupts his company, Relativity Media. Yeah. That did happen. But let's say Ryan Kavanaugh sets up, like, a f another company called, I don't know, Ryan is... Um, <laughs> You know, Ryan uh, Triller is a one-star app, LLC. Okay. And Ryan moves, like, a bunch of money from the bankrupted Relativity Media to Triller is a one-star app, LLC. Yeah. And then he goes, well, or sorry, incorporated. So he'd be like, look, I'm incorporated over at, at Triller is a one-star app, and, and so I'm not liable. Well, that would be an alter ego because it's not a real, the company is, is not really doing business. It's just it's like a sham it's, company. Yeah, to shield from liability. Right. Because part of what a corporation does is it protects the owners from liability if they were to get sued or something, you know? But uh, what? This is so stupid. Yeah, it's insane. Well, they just pulled it out of thin air because it's obviously all super Did untrue. Did we don't have meetings? What was that about? No, he's just, they're lying. I mean, they're making shit up. It's insane. They, because they can't file the complaint based on nothing. So they're just but lying out of thin air. We're, we're carried out without annual meetings and without keeping records. Sorry. Yeah, no, they're, they're exactly. They have to say this, but they have no information. <laughs> they're lying. They're just lying to intimidate you. They're going after you, Elo. All right. Now here I pulled up my, our favorite moments. 
um, that I'll read to you. So it's like, I mean, this is the legal system, guys. You can just lie about shit, and that's what it is. So here you go. <laughs> the scare quotes surrounding the word honest utterly belie any defense that this post encourages legitimate users of the app to leave good faith reviews based upon their actual, oh, they misspelled experiences, dumbasses. <laughs> Defendant's social media activity established an overwhelming record to the contrary. Bro, what is... I want you to give Triller an honest review. And I still do. Well, we didn't make this post. I didn't make this post. So what even are we talking about? Well, exactly. They don't understand the internet. They, don't, yeah. they, they're just, they think I'm an idiot. They think we're stupid as fuck. And they can intimidate us. And let me be very clear. I still want you, all of you, to give an honest review to Triller. That's still that's still yeah. something I'm passionate about, mm -hmm. you know, and no air quotes. I'm not doing this. I want you to give an honest. This is the an opposite of air quotes. <laughs> honest review of Triller. No air quotes on honest. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> yeah. By the way, our lawyer said that. Um, not that I did this, but he's like, if you wanted to, you could straight up say. Everybody go to Triller and give them a one star. And that would be free speech. Mm -hmm. Protected. I didn't do that, though. I didn't even do that. Uh, to okay, so here's another one. To detract attention from the copyright action, and in a deeply misguided attempt to exact revenge for the copyright action, and to gain an unfair advantage in the highly competitive entertainment industry, what, am I competing against them now? <laughs> What does exactly. that even mean? So, so the, the, this other lawsuit, which is called, uh, fuck, I remember. I forget what it is. But they're saying we're getting an unfair competitive advantage against Triller. I'm not a competitor to Triller, you fucking idiot. Oh, maybe they found out about Ethan's feet. That's kind of a social media Ethan's platform. Ethan's feet. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, love. Damn it, you're love screwing us. Screwing me well, over. You guys can just tell them to sue me instead. Yeah, Sue That's Love. Funny. I don't. I don't even get any right. of that merch money. That's all love. Take it for life. He's coming for your hundred dollars in merch money, love. You better fucking hide that. Oh, you better make wait. a new company. <laughs> oh, here you go, that shit. Wait, wait, wait. A hundred dollars? Oh, how much did you make? Be honest. Um. Three hundred and seventy-six. You better dollars. alter ego that shit fast. <laughs> did you Bro, see the merch I'm, you made that he's selling? No. Oh, you I'm taking this money this. and I'm gonna dip. You're gonna you're gonna rub, pull rug pull the rug out yeah. on Ethan's feet. Yeah. So love made Ethan's feet. You know about Ethan's feet, right? Yeah. Guys, don't go here. It's gonna crash. Please. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I might have updated the service. I'm not sure. Uh oh, it's not loading. Okay. Ethan's feet. <laughs> fuck. Every time. Okay, here it is. Figure for life. Uh -huh. Oh, you have made from merch on the fucking homepage. <laughs> Seventy thousand side views. That's, That's pretty funny. good. Twenty-five yeah. plus merch sales, dude. You are <laughs> fucking. You are so made, bro. <laughs> well, wait till you see the merch. It's actually the worst merch I've ever God, seen. In I my hate life. it. So, well, this just says Ethan'sFeet.com, but wait I till you see it. this design. Cameron made this for for love. Cameron, are you getting any kickbacks on this? Mm, you, he hasn't well, seen. Well, you saying he hasn't can't, seen can't a dime yet? Can't be complaining yet. this whole week. He hasn't seen a fucking dime. Mm. It's no, 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 no. feet curved into the shape of our. He it's is. The he's worst rug pulling. Love is rug that. pulling on all of us. Yeah. This no, is the I'm worst thing I've ever books. seen. You're doing it by the book. I need to tax before I send it to Cam. That's oh, why. Okay. Oh yeah, the duck tax right. for sure. Right. That's, that is fair. That's yeah. fair. Make sure to make sure to make a shell company called Ryan Kavanaugh runs a one star review. Yeah. What was that country called that the gambling site was on? Curacao. You could definitely oh, yeah, set, yeah, set yeah, up I'm a just shell company in Carousel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wondering. No, no special, special reason. <laughs> yeah, anyway, this is funny. So congratulations, everybody, on the, all the merch <laughs> sales. Love is crushing it with Ethan's feet. He saw an opportunity and he took it, man. That's what I like about him. It crashed. Yeah, it, it's crashed. Don't push it, by the way. All right. Oh, thank you break guys. time? Fuck. Back to Ryan Kavanaugh. <laughs> So he goes, uh, to, to detract f attention from the copyright action and in a deeply misguided attempt to exact revenge for the copyright action and to gain an unfair advantage in highly competitive entertainment industry. See, the, the thing is their charges are so loose. They have these absolutely um, 
anemic. Char- these, it's not even anemic. It's like uh, just wrong. It's like you can only sue if for for this competitive thing. It's like we're not competitors, dude. Defendants, Mr. and Mrs. Klein, Teddy Fresh, and does Teddy Fresh and does one to uh, one to five hundred. Announced they're going to war with certain affiliates of Fight Club. Are, are Who the they fuck re- is do, are, are they, dues one to five hundred? I'm not sure, but are they referring to this post from January 29th? Because that is not good legal. <laughs> uh, we drank beer. We drank beer. So we're going to war. They say three. Is this exhibit three? I guess it doesn't say here. But I mean, I'm assuming that's what they're referring to. With certain affiliates of Fight Club, including Triller and Ryan Kavanaugh, in furtherance of that war, defendants specifically instructed their rabid fans. And come on, you guys, don't as foot soldiers, guys. They're insulting that? our fans now. They're insulting they you. They called guys. you guys rabid fans. You are now, that's rabid. Too far. That's too far. That's that's no no no. no. Yeah. You guys are not rabid. Absolutely not. If anyone's rabid, it's Ryan Kavanaugh for money. Got him. He doesn't pay his own what now nightmares. Uh, leave thousands of negative so-called troll reviews for Triller's uh, app. Well, I mean, if they're leaving reviews, I'm assuming it's because your app is bad. Right. You know, it and I was flipped. If your shit wasn't flipped, yeah, maybe if your shit, <laughs> maybe the reviews would be. So you could flip that review score. I mean, if it wasn't, <laughs> if it wasn't flipped, yeah, you probably like. I find it ironic. I find it very funny, Ryan Kavanaugh. That somehow your app getting bad reviews is my fault. All I've said is to leave honest reviews. And Triller, I'm, my thing's flipped. And that's what people are doing. And they're not rabid, asshole. Defendants have advanced their schemes via various social media platforms, including but not limiting to defendants' dedicated forum on Reddit.com. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out H3C uh, Productions on Reddit. A popular social news <laughs> aggregator, the H3 subreddit. Upon information belief, defendants and or sub, sub uh, defendants employees moderate and thereby control the posts. Uh. <laughs> you guys are being blamed for this one. You didn't delete. They're literally crying to the mods. They're, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why don't you guys just send a report in the subreddit? Yeah. I mean... Dan underscore H3. That's my uh, username on Reddit. Uh, <laughs> lodge a formal if, complaint. If, if you have a problem with the post, take it up with the mod. Right. Via the official channels. <laughs> Brian's just mad because he got Look banned. On They're the listing Reddit. people's comments. Yeah, yo, yo, they give shout outs to posts. Look, you guys. For example, in May 2021, Reddit user R Conversational Actual 77. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out, bro. Shout out to his family. <laughs> Posted to the H3 server. They take down Triller. Let's all rate Triller a one on the App Store for being greedy little fucks. First of all, I don't condone that. If you give them a one, let it be because you don't like the app. But we have no say on what people comment on Reddit. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised they don't include uh, posts on, like, 4chan subreddit about, right. uh, you know, something else. It's like, oh, well. Oh, another... Sh- well, I'm just saying, well, what, why not blame us for everything bad posted on Reddit while you're True. at it? True, yeah. Uh, more, another shout-out. On July 2nd, Reddit user 2pokeus2, shout-out, <laughs> posted the issue subject, Foot Soldiers, time to bank down Triller app, called by the king himself. Bank down? What does that mean? I'm too old to know that one. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I, I, I actually can't comment on this because I don't know what bank down means. It's blank. So when he says called by the king himself, I don't know what that if means. If this gets to trial, you should you should ask them if they know what that means. Yeah, because right. uh, I don't. I mean, I didn't post <laughs> it, so I can't read his mind. Blanks. For all I know, Ryan Kavanaugh posted this to try to frame me. <laughs> Ooh. Don't, don't put that on to poke us too. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. On July 8th, Another shout out. Don't blame me. Thirteen posted to the HG server. Foot soldiers assemble. Tank the Triller app. We can do better than this. Hey, listen, listen. If that's what they want to do, that's between them. I didn't ask anyone to tank the Triller app with a one star rating. Upon information and belief, this is a, a, a substantial precedent for defendants' foot soldier brigading websites on defendants' command. Uh oh. 
Indeed, approximately one year ago, Business Insider reported that Old Spice dropped its sponsorship of H3H3 whoa. among a brewing troll war with Keemstar. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're actually trying to gain sympathy by... <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that. That's incredible. <laughs> this, you know, so there was, oh my God. There was a conspiracy <laughs> theory that Keemstar was feeding him my dirt. And then this mm. kind of supports that. Like, in what world would they bring up Keemstar being dropped? Keem, wait. All uh, Spice yeah, dropping oh, and sponsorship. Uh, what? what? This is inside reported following a spat with Mr. Klein and Keemstar. It's like a Romeo Juliet. <laughs> Klein <laughs> went on to produce a video about Keemstar titled Content Nuke. Great video, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. HSU <laughs> Productions. Keem, Keem? Did they really refer to him as Keem? <laughs> Keemstar show. That, that, that's his real name, isn't it? His last no, name? No, his name's Daniel. Daniel. Oh, no, his last name is Keem. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's... They can, okay. Yeah. Keemstar, shut up. <laughs> shut up, bitch. <laughs> uh, Content Nuke that accused Keem of lying about Klein committing fraud. Right. Yeah. It did. I think what they're trying to do is put, like, my dirty laundry, quote unquote, in yeah. a public filing. But you don't really get to do that, do you? It's completely unrelated. It is totally unrelated. <laughs> it's like. So frustrating! I think it's a good thing. If you're worth a billion dollars and, the, like, all the dirt you could find is, like, Keemstar shit, like, <laughs> yeah. it's pretty sad. You're pretty squeaky Was clean Keemstar then. Was Keemstar lying about me? I have a feeling they're in contact, bro. Because this is just Look so at the out next of left sentence. field. It makes no sense. Yeah, so he goes, um, uh, Klein went on to produce a video about Keemstar called Contact Nuke that accused Keemstar of lying about Klein committing fraud and additionally compiled examples of Keem's offensive behavior, including a controversial interview with the tubier, a YouTuber who would later die by suicide. Right. Why would How you Where Keem related? appeared to suggest jumping off a bridge. That's fucking insane. Why are you including that? That actually seems like so inappropriate to bring that into this. <laughs> I'm like really sick. And doesn't. It's so irrelevant. It, yeah. I mean, the goal is to make you look bad by citing when you went after did? somebody. Yeah. For like a really good reason. But I think they're just trying to make it look, make me look like a messy person or something. Right. I don't know. But they're using Etika's suicide for no fucking reason. They're saying it's bad that you called him out for doing that. It's like, what? In what universe does that help their case against you? They said Business Insider further reported that after Content Nuke debuted, G Fuel's longtime sponsor of Keemstar were spammed with comments asking for the energy drink company to end its sponsorship of Keem. Sounds like they had a pretty good reason to do that. <laughs> right. Like And and equally, I would even say, it sounds like people leaving a one star review of Triller have a pretty good reason to be doing that. Sure. Because they don't like that. Why not? It's, they need to get that shit flipped. Free speech? Uh, Garbage. It's just... <laughs> it, they need to unflip their app. They need to unflip their app. <laughs> <I mean>. <laughs> <laughs> it's so simple. Yo, can you link me that note, the note back? I want to watch that. <laughs> Yo, trailer. My thing's flipped. <laughs> so fucking good. <laughs> Defendants go on to incite their foot soldiers, ex exhorting them by saying, I'll be checking in on the trailer reviews and asking that foot soldiers try the app Listen to this. This is the best they have. Okay. Listen, this is evidence. Try the app, see how it goes, and give it a one star or more. Laughter. <laughs> one or more stars. Some amount of stars between one star and up to maybe five stars. <laughs> Download Triller and rate it one star or more. That's what I did. <laughs> That's evidence of me trying to take their app? <laughs> it literally is me being partial. I call the that evidence of uh, a sense of humor. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Your Honor, you click. This is not legal argument, by the way, saying, Your Honor, you know what they meant. Mm -hmm. okay. That's not legal <laughs> argument. You know what they meant, Your Honor. Imagine the judge being like, but was it funny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you've only mentioned the App Store to give a fair review, correct? If I'm not mistaken. Only ever. I mean, this is all they have. This is the worst they can Okay, find. well, if you look up Triller App Review, mm -hmm. there's about five other websites that all have a lower rating than the App Store. Oh, really? The App Store is actually the highest. 
Anyone could Google that. And there's like four other websites, App Review. Oh, let's, well, let's do that. Yeah, send me those. They're, they're in the Discord. Oh, great. That's, a, that's really interesting. So you're saying, to the contrary, that the one, they're, what they're claiming is that I tank their, their App Store review. But clearly, if you look at it on other apps, uh -huh. it has a way lower rating. Mm -hmm. So like, how can I have tanked it if that's their highest rated spot? Correct. Hmm. Perhaps the foot soldiers actually increase their score. Oh, so this is like a this is like a media review of Triller, by an app review by Nelly Johnson. If you scroll down, there's comments. Three stars. Parents say one star. Kids say four stars. Okay, uh -huh. so somewhere between one and four stars. <laughs> See, I was even more generous. Yeah, one you said five. one and five. So maybe you encouraging the audience to give a fair review help them out. Right. Maybe they should hire you. How can they draw that distinction that I'm causing one star when this guy gave it a three star? I mean, they still have a 4.6 on the App Store. By the way, Noah Beck, on, who's being paid to be on Triller, just a little callback. Yo, Triller, my thing's flipped. <laughs> my camera's like flipped around right now, but look. I'm, I'm trying to... Ugh, it's so awkward. <laughs> hey guys, like look, it's when I put it this way, it's oh, just, I see it. yeah. it's weird. It's like mirrored. And should I head off? <laughs> Love that. Yo, Great trailer, content. My Great content. Flipped. <laughs> so how did they expect five star reviews when their shit is flipped? <laughs> like even their people they're paying to be on there can't say nice things about them. Ugh, it's so awkward. <laughs> Good call. Good uh, catch, AB. Yeah, there's more websites in there. On the, I sent three different ones. Let's see. I, 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 what are, just tell me what the ratings are. I don't need to look at everything. Okay, let me just go back and check. I mean, here, appgrooves.com. Let's see what they gave them. A 4.5? Oh, that's, oh, is that the App Store on Google Play? Okay, I, whatever, I'm over it. No, this uh, one's an app review. 2.2 yeah. .2 out of 5. 2.2 .2 out of 5, do you see? Anyway. Um, download trailer and give it a one star. Although defendants state that we do not condone. Okay, so again, although defendants did state that we do not condone and we do not encourage troll reviews. Defendants visible and audible laughter while making the aforementioned statement coupled with defendants promotion of various supposed troll reviews. Who's to, defi who's to decide what's a troll review and what's There's, a serious review? This seriously is like this is so crazy. It's so bad. This really, this is, this is like Discord mod drama. Like the way that this is all structured. More than right. like a legal complaint. This is somebody crying to the mods on Reddit about how they got banned unfairly. Yeah. Like, well said. First well of all, said. yeah, it, it's all like, basically their whole argument is judge, judge, you can read between the lines. Yeah, that's not how the law, that's not how lawsuits work. We don't read between the lines. So they're saying, yes, he said we do not condone and we do not encourage, but they were laughing. <laughs> they're not allowed to laugh when they say that. They were mean. They were so mean to me. Accor according to Triller, every one-star review is a troll review. Um, anyway, we'll be back every episode to review the reviews. Reveals defendants' true motivation to inspire foot soldiers to leave troll reviews. Indeed, just seconds after purporting to disavow troll reviews, defendants joke about their foot soldiers would never brigade us website on their command. There's no precedent for that. We How did we get that name again? It's called We Do a Little Trolling. It's funny because he still hasn't figured that out. <laughs> you still haven't explained why we're called Foot Soldiers, dipshit. Just showed Keemstar. In the videos, defendants make false, misleading, and malicious statements concerning Triller and Mr. Kavanaugh, including that Triller is and Mr. Kavanaugh run a Ponzi scheme. Excuse me! I never fucking said that! <laughs> Your ex business partner is the one that said that, buddy. <laughs> As reported in Variety magazine, a leading trade paper in the entertainment industry. Ex fucking excuse me, fucker! <laughs> I never said that you run a Ponzi scheme. Oh, listen to this one. That Triller falsely represented that comedian Kevin Hart uses the app. Well, you're the one that wrote it! Where's his fucking account? And by the way, they updated their fucking... They removed it from the description. And removed Kevin Hart. So clearly my feedback was of some use to you. Show me. Can you link me the new description? Yeah, it's in the doc right here. Let me... They say, I defamed them! Because Kevin Hart 
<laughs> Doesn't use the app! <laughs> well, where did Kevin Hart on your app then? <laughs> it clearly said that Kevin Hart used the app. <laughs> and I checked last night and they updated the copy <laughs> to remove Kevin Hart's name. So, where's my fucking money for helping improve your dumbass app? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the original description was create, share, connect with global superstars such as Josh Richards, J Charlie D'Amelio, Noah Beck, Kevin Hart, Tyga, and more. <laughs> well, guess what? Their copy don't say that no more. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Where's Kevin Hart? They removed it. <laughs> Create share with Josh Richard, uh, Charlie D'Amelio, Noah Beck, and Tyga. Where's Kevin Hart? Why'd you remove it? Why'd you remove it? <laughs> Why the fuck did you remove it? And I defamed you? <laughs> no, you, you defamed me by lying to me that Kevin Hart was on your app. True. That's right. false advertising. I downloaded Triller because I'm a huge fan of Kevin Hart, and I wanted to see him on your fucking app. Right. You defamed me. You fucking lied to me. And maybe that's why I gave you a one star. And other people did too. Because Kevin Hart wasn't on the app. Also, the app. Listen to this! <laughs> They're right. The app is flipped! <laughs> this thing! The friend makes a false, misleading, the malicious statement saying the app is flipped! <laughs> Uh, oh, no one backs in the app is flipped. <laughs> I found the original screenshot I have of the original description. Just, just, just for so that we have proof. Just so we have proof. Yeah. Here's the original screenshot we took, just so they can't say I lied. <laughs> What's the name next to Noah Beck? Mm, Kevin, Kevin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> they said. The app is flipped! <laughs> it is flipped! <laughs> Do I need to open Noah back again saying it's flipped? <laughs> Yo, Triller, my thing's flipped. <laughs> the app is flipped! They wrote that! Uh, According to and one then of they wrote, Mr. Kavanaugh <laughs> bears a physical resemblance to Harvey Weinstein! <laughs> Are you who the app <laughs> And for the record, I always said I didn't really see Me it. Me too. Yeah, I don't really see it. I, I, look, mm. I don't know. I, a lot I of people disagree. Mind, You're gonna have but to so like far, it. I said that I disagree. A lot of people feel differently, but I, I just, Excuse I don't see me. it. I don't see it. But are you going to call this defamation? <laughs> I'm allowed <laughs> to say you look like Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Yes, Harvey Weinstein is a notorious convicted sexual predator. Are you self-reporting? I said you look alike! <laughs> Starting to look closer and closer the more I look at it. it they're so similar looking. <laughs> <laughs> defendants, defendants also state Mr. Kavanaugh is suing them. Mr. Kavanaugh never sued defendants. Well, he does own Triller, and the lawyer literally said to us, Kavanaugh's behind this lawsuit. <laughs> and also, why are you upset then, if you're not suing me, that you said, you're including in here that Mr. Kavanaugh bears a physical resemblance to Harvey Weinstein. So if you're not suing me, if you're not involved in this lawsuit, right. then why, why is, is that it all about there? you? <laughs> you're telling me you don't see the resemblance? I, I didn't at first, but I'm starting to. It's growing, and like, I'm starting to see what you're talking about. Thank you. Yeah. The chat's saying do a poll. Let's right. just, oh, that's a good idea. I mean, let's just be fair. Let's be fair. Yeah. Let's, you could find out for yourself. Let's decide. Yeah, they can add a screenshot of the poll. Not that next I'm allowed time. to have an opinion about what he looks like. I can say you look like Mary fucking Poppins. It's not defamation. <laughs> it's my opinion, asshole. <laughs> let's do a poll. Are you working on it or love doing it? AB's got it. Okay. All right, guys, cast your mm -hmm. vote. Does Ryan Kavanaugh have a physical resemblance to Harvey Weinstein. Yes or no? Yes or no? Any resemblance at all? Mm. It doesn't need to be identical, just any resemblance at all. I'm setting it up, give it a second. The poll is going up now. Harvey Weinstein, convicted predator. Oh, um, do you think Ryan is gonna vote? 
Himself. He's voting no. He's probably watching. He's voting no. He's sending it to everyone in his WhatsApp right now. Vote no. <laughs> vote no. <laughs> Alright, I've pinned the poll. Right. I'm also you spamming look like it. Him doesn't mean you did his crime. I am spamming the poll right now. Alright, guys, let's see. Um, and here I will pull it up. Here we go. And I am going to <laughs> place my vote <laughs> right now. No. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Wait, no. It's okay. Wait, here we go. And I vote. want everyone to be honest. Vote no. <laughs> yeah. I okay, let's see the result. <laughs> oh. My vote's been counted. All right, so Go to the, the results. Okay. We'll see. The results. <laughs> it's a big moment. You click it. Nothing's happening. It's, I think it's going slow. Are we cracking reason. straw poll again? <laughs> oh, no. Looks okay, like it, get yeah. your votes in. We fucking crashed straw poll. That's insane, you guys. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't use <laughs> well, it. Well, people are passionate. They want to get their votes in. I, I could give you results. where it was at at 323 I know, votes. I have it too. <laughs> Tell them. Okay. Oh, here. Okay. okay. It just it updated, updated for Ela. <laughs> Where but I got I got to show it on screen. Yeah, okay. It's, it's very. So you. I've never seen such a conclusive poll before in my life. I've never seen such a conclusive. Can you try refreshing, Dan? He just read. He just did. I have never mm -hmm. seen such a conclusive. Maybe you try to open. Result it? ever. Here, you hold this then. Okay, guys. We asked, does Ryan Kavanaugh? have a physical resemblance to Harvey Weinstein. You guys took the poll and you sent your answers. The results are in. We've crashed the site. People are passing. <laughs> Straight up, we can't get I can send a screenshot. Well, I, I think yes, obviously. You want to just read off the result? No, send me. Okay, here it is. There I go. 95% yes! I have never mm. in all of my life, in all of my life doing straw polls, right. have seen the result 95% of 6,500 ballots cast. Ryan, don't feel bad. 5% is a lot. 5% is everything. 5% is everything. 5%, <laughs> it just comes up again and again. 5% means everything. Maybe Strawpole <laughs> is another alter ego company of ours. Yeah, we own Strawpole. 5% oh, difference. But like to phenomenal. say that Mr. Kavanaugh <laughs> bears a physical resemblance to Harvey Weinstein, to say that that's false and misleading and malicious. How dare you? 95%! But the best part, of course, is that the triller is flipped. The app is flipped. <laughs> <laughs> is by far the best thing in here. <laughs> the defendants, uh, in videos, defendants misrepresent a June 7 Variety magazine article and claim that Variety article supports their statement that Triller is and Mr. Kavanaugh runs a Ponzi scheme. Okay, back the fuck up. No one ever said Triller is a Ponzi scheme. I had, ever. again, another self-report? Yeah. yeah. I have <laughs> never... Said no. Triller is a Ponzi scheme. Mm -mm. I gave it a one star because that was my experience because mm -hmm. they lied about Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. Right. Misleading. False advertising. Ja Rule? Ja Rule. What do you, do you agree? Call, hey, ja, ja Rule, what do you call it when you say Kevin Hart's on this app but he's not? I would call that uh, false advertising. Right. Yeah. Even Ja Rule. And trust me, Ja Rule knows something about your false Let's advertising. Let's think of how to dig ourselves out of this shit, man. It's not going to be suing Eli, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. So they say, I say, Triller's a Ponzi scheme. Why don't you include the quote then, fuckers? <laughs> I never said that. Ay, ay, ay. Also, you're the partner of the one who said you're running a Ponzi scheme. Defendant's statement that Triller is and Mr. Kavanaugh runs a Ponzi scheme are false, misleading, and, mal and malicious. Ed's defendant knows. I don't know shit. Your partner said it. I don't fucking know. False advertising? <laughs> indeed. Indeed. The Variety article defendant pur uh, purportedly based their false mis... Okay, so it's Variety's fault. What, do you, what is it my problem? Variety article uh, purportedly based their false, misleading, and malicious statements upon neither... Mentions nor references Triller. Well, neither did I. Yeah, Come where on. are they getting this? We never They're said making it up. They're making it up. It's a flat-out fucking lie. And expressly and unambiguously disavows any claims regarding a Ponzi scheme. Okay, great. That's between you and fucking God. I'm just quoting your ex-business partner, as reported by Variety. Public soldier. information. Yeah. And Variety does include the court docs, just FYI. Yeah, they have the whole complaint. Mm -hmm. I mean, read it for yourself. What the fuck do I care? I never called them a Ponzi scheme, but if you're self-reporting, then fine. 
<laughs> is is Triller a Ponzi scheme now? I mean, it doesn't even. How would it be a Ponzi scheme? It doesn't even I on its know. surface. It doesn't it make any me. right. But it but just, now I'm wondering. There's is no a Ponzi scheme. I mean, I'm not sure how that would work, but it's so awkward. It's so it's so awkward. Ted Entertainment, Teddy Fresh were conceived, intended, and this is the alter ego. Yeah. So our companies were of were created for the sole purpose of avoiding liability, and our businesses are undercapitalized. Somehow, how the fuck right. would they know that? We read this part earlier. Yeah, I know. I'm just. Yeah. I, how would know. you know that my business are undercapitalized? I don't know. You can't even figure out the base facts of this case, like that. I never said fucking. I never said Triller was a. Ponzi scheme, you freaks. Maybe because it's Teddy Fresh sells out so quick, they're like, look, there's never even any merch on the site. <laughs> oh. TeddyFresh.com? Maybe. <laughs> now, the reason they're doing it is because, once again, they think we're morons, and this tactic would maybe work on some people, but when they do the alter ego, it's them setting the roadmap to go after your personal assets. So they go, oh, you're not safe. We're coming for everything. But obviously, it's bullshit, and I know that. And, and like, so they're just, again, it's just fear tactics. During the July 8th video, Mr. Klein appears before a background that contains, among other things, a review for the app left by Ethan Klein. Right. <laughs> the review states, using Triller has been one of the worst experiences of my life. I would rather get a colonoscopy from a chain link fence over having to use the software one more time. I would rather get E. coli from a dirty Sanchez on the scorching day in Death Valley instead of trying to operate this TikTok knockoff ever again. I would rather listen to David Dobrik's Luciferian demon laughter play on a loop as my ears bleed. It's some sort of hellish vlog night terror I can't wake up from instead of logging into the thriller app. Also, I heard Brian Kavanaugh was involved in a Ponzi scheme, according to his former business partner, allegedly. <laughs> One star app. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's my review. God, I hope they ask someone to elaborate on what a dirty Sanchez is in the courtroom. Yeah, if I, if I get deposed, they'll matter. <laughs> so this is some of the highlights. So Pretty fucking insane. Nice. Thank you for the rundown. I still wouldn't know how to explain it to my mom when she asks. Well, it's just, it, you could just describe it as... It's a frivolous lawsuit. Frivolous. Triller will probably sue her soon enough. Yeah. No yeah. one in your family's safe. <laughs> They're going to serve Theodore Yeah, school. it's all alter ego. Shredder. Uh, they go, apparently the relationship with your mom is an alter ego. Right. <laughs> to hide Dubrick? assets. Dubrick? 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 Anyway... So cool. So that's it. Welcome back. You're being sued. Thanks. And I would once again wrap this up by saying I encourage all of you watching and listening to give Triller an honest review of your experience. Make sure you do that. Why not? You got it. Oh, yeah. Not that. When I say honest, I'm not doing fucking air quotes. Honest. Fully on. This is me saying <laughs> fully honest. <laughs> No air quotes, no laughter. Okay? Uh, Try to no,